on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Oh, there's fish, there's fish, there's, that's a wahoo, that's a wahoo. Woo! There's one, there's one, that's him, that's him right there. Woo! That's him, let him go, let him go. CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. All right, at 150, just working our way back out to the deep. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, got my brother Mare on the boat. We're aboard our Mercury powered CV390Z. We are outside a marathon, early morning Wahoo fishing. Okay, really just ideal conditions this morning. We couldn't have asked for a better combination. We've got a full moon just two days away. And we all know with that full moon, that's really a, you know, potentially a peak wahoo bite because that moon creates stronger current, stronger tides. It draws more bait off the reef. So it's just an ideal time to target the wahoo approaching that full moon, during the full moon, and a couple days after it. We've got an outgoing tide. It's just about to start to be outgoing, which again is excellent. Okay, combined with that full moon, it's drawing as much bait and forage off that shallow reef out here into this deeper water in 150 to 200 feet, all up and down the edge where these Wahoo are patrolling. It's middle of October, okay? Right now, again, just the beginning of peak Wahoo season. We know that peak Wahoo season is throughout the winter time, right? So we're right at that leading edge, okay? We've got calm conditions, and I have found that when trolling for these Wahoo, they like it calm. Okay, I think you just get an overall better trolling presentation, a better spread, everything is more consistent, you know, the baits appear to be more natural. So we've got all of those different combinations, finally coupled with early morning low light. These fish are incredible hunters, these Wahoo. They really thrive in these low light conditions. You know, we had baits out in the water while it was still dark. While it was still dark, the sun wasn't even over the horizon and already got bit. The fish are on that edge. They could see when you and I can't see, they can see. And I'll tell you what, what an absolutely fascinating fish. I have to be honest with you. One of my favorite, probably my all time favorite blue water game fish is that Wahoo. And to come out to target these fish, is such a special experience, you know, because you're not only hunting, in my opinion, you're, you're hunting for that one fish, two fish, whatever it may be, but you also have to look for fish that haven't eaten yet. What do I mean by that? Well, I can tell you that 90% of the Wahoo, 95% of the Wahoo that I've ever filleted at the table have never had anything in their gut, right? Empty stomachs. So what does that mean? How do you define that? The way that I take that is the Wahoo, once it eats a hearty meal, he's not eating again. He's not eating again. He's not like a dolphin. He's not like a king mackerel or a lot of other predatory game fish that will keep feeding. That Wahoo will hunt, he'll look for that meal, he'll eat that meal, and then he's off the bite. He went from a green light fish to a red light fish. He's just completely shut down. So we're not only looking for Wahoo, but we're looking for Wahoo that haven't had breakfast yet. Traditionally, high-speed fishing, incredibly effective, remains incredibly effective throughout all of Southeast Florida, the Bahamas, of course, all of the islands. The high-speed fishing is just money. But there's another way, okay? And what we're doing is that other way. We're trolling the deep diving plugs. You know, 
Over the last couple of years, new lures have been introduced that track straight thanks to auto-tuned systems. They're built incredibly durable that can withstand the impact from strong Wahoo, but it enables us most importantly to pull these lures at a 10 to 12 knot rate of speed without the lure spinning, tumbling, and coming out of the water. Why is that important? Because we're maximizing every second that these lures are in the water. We're maximizing our fishing time. We don't have to fumble around. We're trying to get baits to swim properly. It's a very clean style of fishing. We're not touching any ballyhoo or anything, but more importantly, it's deadly effective. But again, like all other fisheries, it's all about the details. So stick around. By the time this episode's done, you're gonna be an expert Wahoo fisherman. At Mercury, we conducted our roughest tests ever in order to create our smoothest engine ever. The V8 Mercury Verado. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, we've been reshaping power. How you use it is completely up to you. The V8 Mercury four-stroke. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Are you ready for a world-class adventure? Fishing up to 150 miles offshore and always on the hunt for untouched fisheries, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Caps is Florida's premier long-range headboat. Fish around the clock for trophy snapper, grouper, tilefish, tuna, and more. With all the comforts of home and plenty of elbow room, Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew will put you or your entire charter on a hot bike fishing the famed halfway ledge. Pulley Ridge and beyond. Rated number one in service, Yankee Cap sales from Key West year round. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors. With industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates, not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box, or freezer for every boat. Dependable terminal tackle, it's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, 4-0 carbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Okay, ready? This one's way back there. That's our Mad Mac. Now our DTX Fade out, DTX 200. Fourth and final bait, DTX 220. Check our speed. 10 knots. 
Ooh, perfect, 10.4. Absolutely perfect. Okay, let's... Looks like a little rain there. Oh, there's fish, there's fish, there's, that's a wahoo, that's a wahoo, that's a wahoo, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let him go. Out two let him go, let him go. Okay, that's him right there, baby. That's him, we've had that out how long? Two minutes. I don't two even, minutes. I don't even okay, think just relax, that's the close bait. Now here's the key, when you're fishing these four lines, wow. this is the close bait, right? So our other baits are way back there, we don't need to clear them. Okay, we're in just the one in gear. Take your time. Get our gaps ready. That's gonna be a drawn out fight. You know, again, we just hooked up. We just set the spread. Shaking his head like crazy. Yeah, that's him right there. Crazy. Well, he's not happy. No, he's not. Okay. He just got up for breakfast. There you go. Woo, Ooh. nice one. Take your time to no slack, no slack at all. That's the most important thing, is make sure you have no slack. All right, Keeping the line just the two nice of us here. He's coming up now, right? Yep. Shaking his head all over yep. the place. Okay, now you should be clear with these other ones, you know what I mean? You're definitely under this bait. You're definitely under this bait. Fish That's is gonna come up on this side. side right here. He's underneath this line. And you can see it's still very, very dark. We literally just got the baits out and within the first couple of seconds got crushed. I'm gonna lift this up. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Go right underneath. Go to your right a little. Kinda want to go back a little bit the other way. Yeah, if he does, you just walk him. There you go. Take your time. Okay, now you're over here. You're underneath this one. Underneath this one. Go ahead, all the way to your left. There Fish is. is right there. Fish, Fish is, is right, right there. there. All the way to your left. Fish is right there. Nice walk. Walk up to the left. Walk up to the left. A little higher. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right, okay. watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Out of the watch way. It. Out of the way. Okay, ready? Yep. Barely hooked on the gap. Woo! Yeah, baby. Damn. Woo! Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> That's the way to oh do it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hey, <laughs> I'm kind of like speechless. <laughs> right. I told you, it's all about the details. And if you get out here, you lose the sleep, you do it right, that's the result right there. Beautiful fish. Wow. Look at that. C crushed that, that Nomad, that close bait. What a beauty, 35, 40 pounds. Very nice. Look at that. Let's get the, set, the spread set Put it back, right back out, out there. Maybe get another one. That was the last one you put out? I was like, okay, <laughs> seeing is believing. <laughs> right, right there, that 220, right in the wash. You know what, last night you were saying that pattern right there. That pattern right there, it's deep. deep. All right. We're looking good, let me push the throttles back up. Let's go. All right, get back on these things. Pro's Tip, proudly presented by Debro Fishing, innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. You know, this isn't the kind of game where you want to do this with really light tackle. Right. Okay, you can't. You're pulling really heavy plugs. You're moving at a high rate of speed. It's not maximum sport, you know what I'm exactly. saying? You need the right equipment in order to make this happen. We're fishing 30 wides loaded with 65 pound diamond braid. We've got a 25 foot top shot of 150 pound diamond Mamoy leader material, okay? The leader on the lure itself is 220 liter. And again, the rods are rated for 60 to 100 pound test. Not a game of, of you know, child's play. Whoa, there, there oh, is. That's him, that's him, that's him, one, that's one. him. Hang on. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Damn. Damn, he might hit another one. He might hit the long bait. If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun 
is how you make new friends and stay close to old yeah, yeah. ones. <laughs> if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV Boats lead the way. Deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat, Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit easyanchorpuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Attraction Marine Flooring outperforms the competition, enhancing the comfort, appearance, and fishability of any boat. Competitors use open cell foam, prone to staining. Our durable closed cell foam is 100% stain resistant and withstands the harshest marine environments. We guarantee it. Precise designs and dependable adhesive ensure your custom floor will exceed your expectations with many seasons of trouble-free use. Contact our preferred dealer for a free quote and discover the difference. All right, guys, let's talk about the spread. You watched a set it early this morning. I want to walk you through it here. My shotgun bait, way up on top of the hard top. That's my far out bait. It's way out there. It's a 200 Mad Mac swimming three to five feet below the surface at the most. But the key is it's way back there. You can see this high vis diamond braid, very easy to track. And that's above all of my other lines. So I can make aggressive turns and not worry about this shotgun bait way back there. Okay, that's the first line that I'm gonna set. The next bait that I'm gonna set is gonna be my port corner right here. On a straight butt rod, check that drag. That's a 165, I showed it to you this morning, and that's approximately 50 to 75 feet closer to the boat than the shotgun bait. But again, it's a deep diving plug, so it's gonna be swimming at least five to eight feet below the surface. So it's closer and deeper. That's bait number two. Bait number three, starboard corner, DTX 200, okay? Yet again, deeper, closer, 50 to 75 feet closer to the boat. So now I've got my three baits set, one up on top, just a few feet below the surface, five to eight feet below the surface, eight to 12 feet below the surface and closer to the boat. And finally, the hot bait this morning so far has been our short bait. This is a DTX 220. It's a big bait, big profile, big fish. It's right at the end of the wash. It's 20 feet down below the surface and it's getting crushed here today. But that's the key. Don't alternate. Don't say, hey, I'm gonna put this here and this here and that there. You're gonna do yourself injustice and you're gonna be dealing with tangles. With this kind of spread, like I said, real important. I can make aggressive turns when I have a fish on or if I see something that I wanna to go toward, okay? And I'm maximizing my time on the water right here. A lot of trial and error, okay? I'm saving you a lot of time. I'm shortening the learning curve. That's what Florida Sport Fishing TV is about, okay? And again, if something's working for you, stick with it. If you find a better way, share it with me because I want to catch more. But so far, we're on fire. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. There you can see I'm switching that lure out. It's already pre-rigged. Okay, all I've got to do is just Connect it to that 150 tap shot with a small little crimp. Very streamlined, really nice tight connection. Okay, I've got no tag ends. And I'll tell you what, creates minimal drag, maximum effectiveness. So 
So there's no big snaps. That's the entire connection right there. Okay, this is the 150 top shot with a 150 crimp, 150 pound diamond ball bearing swivel. Okay, barrel swivel. And then the crimp for the 220 going down to the lure, which is also crimped on. Very small loop right to the ring. So that's the entire rigging right there. And when I want to switch lures like I just did, I just go up here, I just cut that 150, take another pre-rigged lure, crimp it on, and I'm back in business. On the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. We're right in this prime area, prime time, everything's solid. We're one for two so far. We know there's fish here, but it's about finding that fish that hasn't eaten. You know, we talked about that earlier. There could be a, a giant wahoo or multiple wahoo right here, but if they've already eaten, they won't touch the baits. You know, it's, it's just the way that it is, okay? But we're gonna find another hungry one for sure. What am I looking for? You know, let me get up here at the wheel. I'm looking for any signs of life. I'm looking for slicks, I'm looking for birds, I'm looking for structure, okay? And even though Wahoo are not structure oriented, it's not like a snapper or grouper, but they feed on jacks and blue runners and bonitas and skipjacks and tunas which are structure oriented and that do roam around all of these wrecks. And I believe that's the big difference as to why these fish are held up in this. There's one, there's one, that's him. That's him right there. That's him, let him go, let him go, let him go. That's him. Look at that rod tip. Whoa, that's a good one. This is a big one, dude. That's a good one, dude. This is a big one. Back off on it a little bit. Okay, and you can just now fight him, slowly start closing that gap. Okay, remember, our other baits are out, but this is that short, deep bait. So it's closer to the boat, deeper in the water column. I'm keeping an eye on these other lures, making sure that it doesn't in any way affect those. And hopefully we can keep our entire spread out. Yeah, he's shaking his head like crazy. So it looks like you might come underneath this one. Bit, yep. yep. Crush that same one. That same bait. Okay, go, go, real, 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 real. <laughs> Close that gap. I say I may feel you on here, but I don't mm, think so. I don't know, I don't think so either. I think you're going to be okay. And again, we were just talking about, you know, everything being lined up, the conditions, and sometimes you could really put all those pieces to the puzzle together. Not to say it's always going to work out, but when it does, it can absolutely be magic. <laughs> Wahoo magic, baby. Beautiful. Nice! <laughs> Woo! Hey, not in the boat yet. No. <laughs> not in the boat yet. It's coming closer to the boat. Remember, he may dart under the boat. All right. Otherwise, you're gonna bring the fish right over here on the starboard go. side. You're gonna walk right up the side and I'll stick him. He may go back around, there but I think you're gonna be okay. Hey, let me grab a gaff. Feels like a good fish. Yeah, yeah I think you're gonna be all right. Woo! Take your time. <laughs> Boat's still moving forward, nice and slow. We're lead. getting all of that slack out. There's a leader, there's our fish. Nice wahoo, beautiful fish. Beautiful. Now take your time, a little bit closer to the boat. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. Tell me what easy. To do. He's gonna go. Lift, 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 lift. All right, got him. Got right, him. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Watch it, watch it. Ready? You got him. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Yes. Nice. Be careful. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Right there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, baby! Right. Two for three! <laughs> All right. That's the one. Very All nice. Right. Same pattern. <laughs> there it is, right there. Look at that. He was a tough one. Dude, he was a tough one. He snapped that bait. Look at that thing, dude. Wow. Wow is right. Look at that. He crushed that bait. But look, only one hook watch, in him. Watch your. And look uh, at that. Man. Look at that hole. Okay. So you could see why it's so important. Keep pressure. Keep pressure because look at that hole. Look at that. Look. Slides right out. Did you out. just see that? All right. You, you guys just saw right that, out. right? That's the hole that it wore. One little bit of slack. And he's gone. And that fish would be swimming away right now. Beautiful wahoo. Very nice. Look at the color. Look at the stripes on him. Beautiful. Awesome. Are we chafed up or are we good? No, no, no. We're solid. We're solid. We're solid. We're solid. Yep. Why don't we get that back out? Yeah. Let's get that back out real quick. Let me push up the throttles. And then we'll take care of this guy. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up. Do the Wahoo Shuffle.